with the everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and right now we got to talk about refugees from America. The collapse of the Americans into a civil war has led to many American citizens fleeing from the bloodshed to safer lands to start a new life. One of the preferred destinations, of course, is good old Texas, a land that has escaped the horrors of the Second American Civil War and existed outside of the American carnage as a now stable nation, with hundreds of refugees pouring in by the day. Texas is now a haven for refugees fleeing oppression and chaos in America. You'll always find a home in Texas. Unfortunately for them, they're coming in, in while we are literally getting ready to go to war with the American Union State because they know they're on scraping the barrel and they're almost out of manpower. So uh, they got a lot of divisions and they're doing quite well, but and they are gearing up for a war on our borders, but we'll be ready for them, hopefully. Uh, the divisions are probably the tried and true, you know, normal divisions that, you know, Huey, Huey Long and all the other American contenders make. But, uh, demobilized economy, fade of Mexico, I'll be honest here. I kind of like what we're doing. And actually, uh, 110 PP, we're looking really good. We already have a lot of the things that we already need to be doing well here. Even though I kind of would like getting this one to get this one, because I like the cast, and we're making some more cast, cast, cast. Production costs, uh, Taylor Craft versus Hughes Craft versus Curtis Wright. Ooh, cast gets plus 50% of great effect. I, I, quality over quantity for me, at least. Um, but, you know what? Something I never choose is improving this. Even though we could probably use more manpower technically. We have to be at war for this. We're definitely going to need some more manpower very soon. So we're probably going to have to do that. But I hope you like John Nance smoking cigars. And uh, really cool. We got more manpower, but it's alright. Because we're, I want to go to war. And honestly, I like the way Texas looks. I love how we just own Mexico now. Thank you, Argentina. Thank you very much for helping us out. It wasn't that bad, actually, trying to push into them. Well, we capitulated them about three months after the end of the last episode. It is what it is. But realistically, Mexico... Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico is now in our hands. We must now decide what the future Mexico will be. Liberate them? Split Yucatan from Mexico and release them? Everything's bigger in Texas, as someone did say. So, And it's going to hurt our manpower and stuff, but... I just, I'm sorry, but a nice, big, beautiful blue Texas is so nice. But Europop membership. As a member of the single Europa, Europa market currency as dictated by our middle Europa membership, it is incumbent on us now to align ourselves with the majority of the bloc by joining the Europarat. This organization, the Council of Europe, exists to regulate trade and is a key part of a further integration a sound proposal. As the Russians are, they're, they're really struggling. They're honestly really struggling. The Germans, they're, they're pushing in. They're trying their best, but... I don't know, man. I, I know that like going all ham and stuff, but uh, it's looking pretty bad. And the Russians are eh, they're doing okay over there-ish. But anyways, we got we got quite a few comments to go through with no political power. Also, uh, anyways, let's get started with something. Um, someone recommends I do the Make America mod. Yes, I've actually by the time I've recorded this, I've already live streamed it. And that mod, I'm going to be playing a whole ton of that mod in the future. Like I'll be honest, I'm playing. I'm going to play a lot of that mod when, in the future. So actually, right now with these tanks, though, we're going to push into here and then cut into here. Take out all of New Mexico. We need all of New Mexico. Uh, oh, actually, do we need Utah? We do not, which is nice. Uh, so, when, actually, a couple of people will be play as LBJ. Also, we're doing Remember the Alamo right now, which I think I read. But if I if I didn't read it earlier, um, there you go. You can read it as well. Yeah, I read this one yesterday. But play as LBJ. We'll play LBJ Texas sometime. Someone wants me to do Woody Guthrie, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know how to say his name correctly, but we definitely want to do him as well. That sounds like a lot of fun as well. Totally do him sometime. Someone asked how to get Eisenhower. Uh, let's look at the path guide real quick then. Uh, Eisenhower, Democratic, get him independent first, obviously, get Texas independent, extend Gardner's powers, uh, let's see, finish the crease, possibly, stuff. so someone said to do that, you need to go down the Texaco path and get the army to coup the government to get Eisenhower, so that'd be kind of cool, and people, a lot of people actually want to do, go the Texas Kaiserreich route, um, so if they capitulate while the colonies in Africa and Germany and Asia don't exist during the Second Weltkrieg, he can flee to Texas, so that'd be really cool if it happens. If it doesn't happen, I might just set it up so that it will happen regardless in another campaign. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. Oh, he's that's already completed. Cool. And defensive liberty. Uh, we get more stability. Yeah, I like stability. That's pretty good stuff. We cannot oppress the people. We cannot be the enemy of the people. That is a war that is simply unwinnable. So to survive as a nation, we must defend the essential liberties of all Texans. Defend the rights they all know and love. Make sure Texas is no autocracy, no state run from the shadows. Texas is run by the people, for the people. And let's see. Someone recommends I do the Fire Rises mod or something like that. I'm not sure what that is, but cool. Let me know about it. And actually, if any link 
to any sort of mods or on, if they have a Discord server, please let me know because I'll just join it and like keep an eye on it. I have people help me helping me keep an eye on things, so that'd be really good if you could. Uh, next up, uh, play as a car. Someone wants to play. Oh yeah, we definitely want Louisiana here and advanced carrier holes. That'd be really cool. Grab some of that too. Air Cobras, very nice. Let's grab some better of these planes as well. That'll be very very good. But yeah, play as a car. I played as a car once. Playing as a triple K is kind of wild. That is a different picture of murder than I remember. Old Democratic Party. So, um, yeah. Actually, I will play as a car again. I would like to, but I'm not sure when. There's just so many paths and different mods I want to play. So, up next, uh, liberate the other states. That's what that's our goal right now. My goal is literally to recreate the borders 1848 right now. So that's our goal. Because we need Eastern New Mexico, the Rio Grande, Oklahoma Panhandle, and Carson. So right there, Oklahoma Panhandle, Eastern New Mexico, the Rio Grande, as well as uh, Carson. So very nice. So we need basically all of New Mexico and this little region. So. And that will give us, honestly, not as much manpower as I would hope, but it's going to help us out definitely. Um, also, before we go to war, good, someone recommends we go down the Texas Kaiser Path. Someone recommends that we create a special forces template called the Texas Rangers. Technically, the game off screen did create one already, but it wasn't great. It was only cavalry with some engineers. So I figured, you know what, we'll make them motorized. We'll make them modern Texas Rangers, and we're already trying to make them. So we'll make these guys 40 combo with as time goes on. And of course, as you guys, as any Texan knows, everything's bigger in Texas. So time to get involved in the American uh, Civil War. All right, boys, you're going to go up here and then take you off and take you off and head on into the mountains. We'll see what we can do. And we've caught our allies in. Thank you very much. We're not going to join their wars, of course, but hey, you never know. Nolans? Nolans will be ours. Hopefully we do well here. Ooh, it's kind of standstill in a lot of areas here, but overall, how, how, how much manpower do they have? They're not scraping the barrel, and they're, they haven't gone up at all. Go, boys, go. Dodge City's going to be ours. Up them out. Go up there, too. If we can cut off New Mexico, that'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. Go, boys, go. Nice. If you want to go up to here as well, that's fine. I know it's it's still a lot of attrition and such, but whatever. We're doing okay. Call the Baltic states in. That's nice. My goal is to get this and at least make Texas. I'm going to... The, the, the correct borders of Texas, of course. Um, they're doing last stand or something. Look at that. Look how weak they are. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I'm sending you guys this way. Keep going for now. Uh, don't worry about knowledge. I do not want you to get cut off, so... Okay, you're going to take anyways. Whatever. Um... We lost 603. We've killed off 11,000. Hopefully, after we do this, there we go. We almost cut them off. We almost cut them off. We're so close. We, I, I don't want to kill off the American Union state yet. I want them alive, maybe, or maybe, 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 maybe not, because maybe these guys can come out. We'll still be a piece of the car in the CSA, and then we can focus on the Pacific states, take them out, eat them, annex them, gobble, 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 and have a good time. Uh, we're going to Santa Fe still. Good, good, good. We're almost there. Come on, we got to kick. They're literally doing less than, aren't they? Look at that. Literally last stand. They're literally doing Huey Long. I get it. You're panicking. You're not having a good time. But still. Nice. Oh, German... The blonde beast graces us. And we get one, almost two political power every single day. That's really good. That's really, really good, actually. I don't know. I know it's mountains. I know it sucks. But uh, I need you guys to finish this site up as fast as possible. Please stop attacking. Please, 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 please. I will force you to retreat. Okay, or or, or just take New Orleans. Okay, whatever. Lucian, do you have anything for us? No? Okay. Um, anything else here? And uh, Bruce Palma Jr.? Yes, he's an offensive type of guy, but that's what we like about him. Cool. Awesome, awesome. This campaign is going to be a little wild, of course, as you can tell, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Germany does well. I kind of hope they don't do well, <laughs> just because I definitely, definitely, definitely want to make a do that first. Um, I would like to pick up the Texas Kaiser, but if it doesn't happen in this campaign, it'll happen in some other campaign. All right, encourage competition. We could get more fuel, but we're Texas. Uh, strong leadership. Well, the people all must have freedom. The people must also have a strong leader that will protect their interests. We must avoid the mistakes of the past. The past of spineless politicians. Deadlocked by a judicial overreach. Texas must have a strong leader, one that will put Texas first. Because if you don't put Texas first, you put Texas last. And that is no bueno. Oh, we're going to need some radar. I'll get some armor. And then max out the hangar space. We'll make a pretty decent uh, carrier currently. Obviously, it's not going to be the best that we've ever had, but that's alright. 
Good, good, good. Look at that. Overran. You be long, you ain't got nothing on us. Nice. Look at that. Ah, oh, an encirclement. Six, we've killed 60,000. We're taking 6,000 of our own casualties. Of course, we're going to need more supplies. Like, don't get me wrong. We're going to need some more supplies and such. That's why I kind of wanted to keep Mexico to keep the industry that they have down there and the resources. So, uh, we could probably do that. Lower by one, maybe. Keep a good... Oh, look at that. That's so nice. All right, you guys hold. Let the horses deal with that first, just because it's it's just cheaper. Nice. Uh, and we got to get some more political power, because go restore the borders of 1848. We just need Carson. Lebanon was annexed. That is totally fine with us. Don't really care. Um, if you guys could head over here to here to here, that might be very, very good. They only have one tank division. It's a simple tank. Tank on tank action. You know, things go kaboom. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You wait long. You've had it too good for too long. Please say, Carson. Please, please, please. Oh, boy. They threw in two divisions there. Okay. Um, are they getting beaten back at all? Not too much they're barely fighting the csa which is a little disappointing in my own opinion but whatever and now we got encircled no 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 dutch east indies home all right you want to hold go there then go in there too nice you going to circle us no sir no siree uh he's moving around maybe Come on, tanks. I know it's mountainous. I know it sucks up here. I'm... We got it. We got three days. Three days. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. It's good. You guys go up there. Uh, you guys keep these guys in place. I'm not even sure they're moving. Are they even moving? Uh, they're facing the other direction, but it doesn't look like they're really moving. There you go. Go in there. Go in there, too. More military factories? Very nice. Um, that'd be good enough. Do we really need more guns? 6400 is pretty good. anti arrow would be pretty nice as well. And we have we don't actually have the steel. We have aluminum, tungsten, and oil. That's pretty much all that we have right now. Oh, that's not good. Go with that one, I suppose, for now and grab some of that. Uh, do that first. Nice, we got him. I want you to hold. I want you to support the attack here. Yeah, that's good. And then go in there. Everyone over here, don't even worry about attacking right now. Hold the line. Hold the line. Get over here so they can't escape either. Nice. And we get those cores done. We can form the Confederate States. Can we form the United States of Western America and then the CSA? That'd be kind of funny. Ah, oh, we got him, my friends. We got him. All right. So, I mean, we don't really have to reform the line too much here. Um, I, oh, why did you do command power? Why do you use command power, man? We could grab all these states. It's going to be a lot of guns needed for this, though. I don't think we get any way to, like, actually integrate them yet. So, realistically, we could probably grab all the American South first. But I need the car and the, f well, the feds are gone. I need the car to live as long as possible. So it's in our best interest to make sure these keep fighting. Take out the American Union state. Focus on the West Coast. Or we could form the... Or we could focus on the car first. But we can't afford a two-front war. We really can't. Arizona, Utah. How strong are these guys? They're probably not that weak, honestly. We have 200,000 manpower. 107 divisions. We got 22. That ain't gonna be enough. We gotta save our PP. We gotta go to, like, all adults serve. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys up here, because it's pretty easy in the Midwest here. Two and several divisions. Cancel only, so oh boy. Tax and tank divisions, very nice. We've killed off 119,000 of them while taking 18,000 casualties ourselves. I do declare that's pretty darn good. Hey, the Germans are here too, nice. Just go in there, guys. Don't worry about it. Nice, good. We need to beat these guys up quickly so we can circle their tank divisions and destroy them. Yeah, we definitely got to raise the conscription level quite a few times up. All right, they go here and go there. Strong leadership, follow it up with support Huey Long. Well, we're actually killing them, so... And we'll do it anyways. As America collapses around us, we're tempted to ho lose hope that the right side will come out victorious. But we can do more than blindly hope for the best. We can try our best and work our hardest to make sure that Long wins this year. Nah, we're okay. We're doing it just to get it done.
Armor on armor action. Kind of clanky. Cool. We're going to need more guns. We're going to need a lot of guns. Advanced light ship hull is very good. We're going to need some radar. Well, we're not even close, so we must get some more of this up first. We'll make some uh, destroyers first. There we go. Keep going up so they can't escape. Nice. Now go in. Use the tanks. Nice. Very good, very good. Kill them off. Awesome. This part of the Midwest is pretty easy. All right, we're going to need to raise a conscription level. I'm going to wait just a little before we do that. Um, oh, the Huey Long is kind of losing an underground network, a railroad. The waves of refugees fleeing a war in America has increased greatly with families, businessmen, and exiled politicians, all aiming to try to find a home and a new life in Texas. Groups within Texas have aimed to help refugees going across a per perilous journey across war torn America, with them helping both smuggle them across borders and helping them find a new life in Texas. You can always find a home in Texas. And after this one, I'm probably going to go ahead and do something on the right side here. Uh, yeah, I could probably use this stuff. Yeah. Ooh, that really hurts us, actually, so. Get more resources, though. We could really use more steel. we use more steel? Tungsten? Yeah, we really could. So, that's fine. Expand the mines. If Texas has abundance of natural resources. We just need to get them there and here. Uncovered. Well, everyone, we're looking at even a bigger Texas now. God, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Big, bu beautiful, blue Texas. But um, a couple things have happened. I've been doing a few more focuses off screen, such as mining grants, which took 133 days to get done. The government doesn't want to go through the hassle of digging up resources when we can just get companies to do it for us. Texas, vast riches. Texas is sitting on some of the most terrific wealth on this planet. Everyone wants what we're selling and has made us most, most of us feel the rich. All Texans reap the rewards and an Ayers Commission. The government has commissioned architect Robert Ayers, or Ayres, to assess, us, us, to assess our nation's industrial capacity, followed up with interstate highways. Following the suggestion of Robert Ayers, we're constructing a system of highways that could connect the states. Sounds like a great idea. Right now, we could use a few more trucks, of course. We like big trucks in Texas. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're not doing so great in some areas here, but we're doing okay in some other areas. Right now, as you can see, the American Union state has pretty much collapsed. I think, at this point, we probably will want to do the, form the Confederate States of America so we can take all the South. I mean, it's not going to be very fair to the CSA, but I don't really care. Um, that being said, we're going to do that because the Civil War will still last. Because the CSA and the PSA are technically at war with each other, so the Civil War will continue to last for a long time. And that gives us more time to make even more divisions, because apparently I've lost two divisions here. How did I lose two divisions? Huh. Well, that's not good. Uh, overall, we're like we're, we're doing okay. Uh, the Ukraine has fallen, Belarus has fallen, uh, Lithuania is not looking good, neither is the Baltic State. But Austria-Hungary did join the war, which is... Well, it is what it is. So, we'll see what happens. It's not going great. Um, what's, what's, what's happening over here? Istanbul Pact. And the Far Eastern Republic, though, is doing quite well, so... I just want to keep you guys up to date what's going on, and right now we're going to definitely do San Fran because we can. Um, and economically, we're looking really not that bad. I mean, I'm importing quite a few things here, but just because we need to. We've got so much fuel. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Our tanks aren't looking great. You know, it is what it is. But we're going to invade using our tanks, kill off the American Union State, even though we could have joined them. Kill off a car, then kill off the Pacific States, and then kill off the CSA, which is probably the worst thing to do because once the CSA is just like just building itself up, it's they're really tough. They're god awfully tough. Um, in the meantime, though, we got to keep going in. We ain't going to stop here now. Um, go on in, guys. See what y'all can do. Brazil declared war. Oh, my goodness. That's probably not very good. But, actually, that's not too bad, since we were fighting some Brazilian divisions earlier, so I'm kind of okay with that. Um, in the meantime, do we have any spare planes? I forgot to check. Oh! They're gone! The Fallen Islands! Someone got that. So, sorry to everyone else here, but <clears throat> we're going to take all the territory because we can. Um, this is completely unfair. You know what? I'll give some of the territory to the CSA. They deserve, like, Wisconsin. There you go. You can have that. You guys can have that. I'll be nice. Sorry, CSA. And sorry to the car, but for our Texas campaign, uh, this is going to be difficult enough. We're already on a pretty high conscription level. Maybe not that high, but I don't know. Somewhat high. Uh, you and you. Duplicate yourselves because I want you and then you here. We don't have that many extra spare planes, as you can see. But we already have the war justification for the car already done, which we need to go to war by October 24th, which is okay. Um, yeah. The car doesn't like that, but I don't really care. Let them fight each other over here. Just, I, I, we just got to get this area. We really do. Um, I could let this area fall, I'll be honest. Mm, it would give us some time to really push into here more, a little bit more quickly. Um, this is a river, which really sucks. But we might be able to do stuff over here. Let's d double check. Just because they have a lot of manpower. They're scraping the barrel. 
Uh, stockpile wise, we're not exactly sure what they have. Counts people canceling lend lease. Um, that's okay, but we gotta do this too. Go to Atlanta, and you guys go over here. And we basically have to take all the territory. It's unfortunate, but we have to. Yeah, we're already on service bar requirement, which is not very good, but still. Um, nope. Oh, more divisions. Nice. Hey, great. Oh, we have the Texas division. The actual Texas division. Nice. And as you do see, we do have a carrier down here as well, so. Um, I don't want to lose it, but train it. Train for now. Why not? Give us a few days, and then we'll be on getting ready to go. We got Chester Nimitz here. Chester W. Nimitz. And we get literally two political power a day. Like, 2.05 is insane. Also, I do want to show you that we did get another event. It wasn't really super important or anything like that, but another event for us here. Um, that gave... Uh, the Owen Texan Activities Committee. Ready for anything? Paper chains. Oh, where did... Oh, maybe I lost it? I don't know. I got something. It was about the Middle Europa thingy that gave us an extra bonus, bonus here. All right. Well... No, because it gave us more research speed. I don't see any extra research speed, but okay. Um, Alright, whatever. Hope I can remake America. Also, yeah, they're, they're, these guys are struggling. Wow, guys, please don't attack when you don't need to. For the love of God, please do not attack. Yeah, they're actually pushing just maybe a little back into Belgium, maybe just a little bit. Not too much, though. French high note. Let these guys kill each other off a little bit. Um, It doesn't look like we'll really be able to push in too hard. Ease of conscription, stuff like that. Now nah, we're okay. Trying to get Texas to reform the Union is kind of insane. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's a little nuts. Just gotta keep an eye on the 28th. I mean, it's a 30 day justification for the focus. Wow, Oklahoma has a lot of fuel too. But 38 day, a 30 day justification to justify on the car, so. So, we'll see what happens. Because I don't think there's anything after reuniting America as Texas. I kind of hope there is, but I, I don't know. But this is my first campaign playing as Texas. I'll understand things a lot better. When we actually when I do Texas again, so um, what do we have next? Jobs for the masses. We've gone to work on a series of projects, ones that will provide a massive amount of jobs and drastically cut unemployment. But we really need to reform any nation that gives us more like core territory. And unfortunately, the Confederate States, or or fortunately, the Confederate States has got what we want. So can you guys actually just go in and have a good old time? We call in all the rights back too. Obviously, they're gonna flood through here, but that's DC. That's federal swamp land we don't want. So. Well, we want, but we can afford to lose it for now. You guys are still just trying to go on. Um, this is not looking great. Assembly line production. <clears throat> also, if you're hearing rumblings, uh, there's fireworks going off, so. You know, click. Very cool. We broke over here, which is great. We should be able to do relatively okay. I mean, how oh goodness, we got so much PP. I love it. Um, oh, do, do, we, do we need more guns? No, we need more heavy tanks, which makes sense, but... Still, so, uh, buy one more thing of this. There you go. Oh, and we don't lose that carrier. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. I almost forgot. Oh, baby boy, that would have been real bad. Uh, Nimitz, you're actually looking really good already. Blue water expert, a spotter, a superior tactician. Um, consumer expert, eh, that's kind of okay for now. We don't really need to use that one, so. Losses, 1,000 versus eh, 7,000. That's not bad. Better radar so we can get them on our ships. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. We're doing relatively okay. Not bad. Fall of Bangkok, so be it. So be it. Oh, they even lost Indianapolis. So yeah, having these guys be at war with these guys is pretty good. Actually, I'm sure the CSA's got more divisions, right? 209, 124. The PSA will be good to get rid of. Because after we form the CSA, it'll become a spy master, yes, please. Thank you, Kaiser Wilhelm III. Um, then hopefully, we, I don't know, can we, are these mutually exclusive? Western America, Confederate States of America. Confederate States join the Reichs back, which is kind of weird to say, but whatever. Going in, boys. We're doing a great job. We're doing a great, 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 great job. These guys are all okay. They're, they're not great, but I think we did form the 40s. Yeah, well, the 40s come with with this stuff as well, huh? Eh, I don't know if we really need field hospitals on those guys, but that's all right. You know what? I might just convert some of you guys over now. Just convert two. Just two, because supply is probably not that great. So let's go with 40s. That's great. And after jobs for masses, cool. Expand the interstate. No, the interstate system has proven wildly successful. We've approved plans to further expand the highway system. Uh oh, oh, that is not good. Russia, baby, Russia. Who are you led by? Lozovsky. Please calm down. I need the I need the likes back to live for now. For the love of God, please. Even if I join, what am I supposed to do there? Like I can't come to Europe. I'm literally fighting a war against the other American factions. Cause Texas, well, America will be Texas. Not the other way around. No, no, no. 
13,000 versus 50,000. Wow, okay, not bad. I mean, the Germans, they're defending what was federal property for us. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're a spy master. That's actually really good. Um, that's a, a root entrenchment, which is very, very good as well. Uh, help out here if you can. Help out here if you can. Help out here if you can. If not, we can always reform the line. You know what? Let's reform the line. That's fine. You guys stop attacking. Wait up. Wait up. Do this again. Hey, everyone hold. We can reform the line. That's fine. That's fine. Y'all come down here. Uh, Swampland. I mean, quite literally, it's Swampland down there. Not all there is, but some of it. Cool. Further improve the highway system. Ex please, please, please. Followed up with encouraged competition. Texco is gone, and now the competition in the oil industry can flourish. Standard oil, Chevron, Exxon, it can all grow now that Texaco is finito. Uh, it is 41, um, 49, 40, yeah, I'll get some of that. Ah, let's get some of this one, too. That'd be helpful, because, you know, Texas only has so much manpower. Thank you. Kind of hang out for now. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, do we have any upgrades yet? No, but Lucian Truscott's been a tremendous general so far. Um, I guess we'll go Chief Navy. I mean, there's nothing else we can't really do about that. Mmm. Uh, I like big decks. Deck size and the carriers. Oh, boy. Alright, so normally I choose the one on the right. Because getting 10 more organization is really nice. But, we're realistically, we're going to need desperate defense. We're going to need that extra population. We're, we're just going to straight up need it. So. Uh, or, or, or maybe not. You know, I made my choice. I'm not, I'm not backing down. We ain't backing down here. Once you form the Confederate States, well, tons of manpower. And hopefully a big industry. A big industry compared to what we started off with Texas as, of course. Look at all them roads. I gotta get done. All of them gotta get finitoed. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, Lucas is pretty good at smooching. Herman Gisk sounds... Just looks kind of creepy. Josef Jacobs. Christiania Skarbek. I like this person just because this person's so good, we don't even know their identity. So... Everything's coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. I've not been in Georgia for literally years. I should go back someday. No, guys, I'm sorry, Rax Pack. There ain't too much I can do. Uh, the OG, you know, when you play, at the time it's recording, when you guys play, you know, Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Reich, d does Germany usually lose for you too? Because they're not. Holy sh. Oh, bad words, Germany! Why? You got so many divisions encircled! Germany, why? Germany. <laughs> the Krieg is verloren. Coming to France. What are you doing over there, son? That's Sweden. Did we actually win? That was great. Good job, guys. Um, at this point, I wanted to come through here as fast as possible to help stretch out the line a little bit more. If you guys keep going on, cut off Florida and take it. Just take it. Take it, guys. Take it. Go, go, go. Because uh, they ain't doing so well. And as long as the CSA is bleeding mighty fierce against them, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Go boys, go, go, go. You ain't done yet. Ah, uh, there's probably a river they're trying to fight over, right? Yeah, one kilometer per hour. Forest rivers. Infrastructure ain't too great. Ah, oh, that's southern infrastructure. Hmm. Keep going. Uh, sorry guys, uh, well, I ain't interested, so. Um, yeah, they're still holding out here. The, sea the car is really trying to expand into Ohio. Wow. Expand colleges. I'd like to do black gold, but Ooh, political power and just three oil compared to a, a whole research slot. Like I love oil, but we already have a thousand of it. But one of the final suggestions from Robert Ayers was expansion of the national system of universities and colleges. We have been working on expanding it for a few years now, and we're finally done. A fifth research slot as the great nation of Texas. Now that's not too shabby. All right, so you guys come on down here and focus on taking out Miami. It's it's hot. It's it's humid. It's hot. It just hmm. I just don't ever think I could ever live in Florida. I just don't think I could. Sorry. I just... Mentally, I just don't think I could. Um, Josephine Baker sounds very familiar. <clears throat> Jonah Smith, you look a little familiar. I'll take you. He's a tried and true Texan. Very, very nice. Finish this up. A spread out our line. We've got to destroy here, too, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, by the time we're ready to take out the CSA, well, hold on. The CSA versus... Or if we become the CSA, they'll have to fight the CSA. That literally just dawned on me. Huh. Well then. Hmm. Alright. 
Um, look at all this stuff. Uh, you know what? Don't even bother me with this garbage. We know what we want, and we like what we know. Well, hmm. Words are difficult. Anyways, get some more anti sub stuff. There you go. These are better. There you go, make one. Uh, I still need a little more, a spot more chromium. There you go. Buy what you need. Wow, look at that. We've got more than enough steel now. Ah, I love it. Uh, no Brazil. No, no, no. You've been doing great for us, but for now, no. Boys, let's take a trip down to Miami. <clears throat> Miami. Oh, baby. Let's go to the beaches, baby. Beach City. Oh, boy. Pass the defense. And very, very nice. Oh, baby. It's nice and swampy, but that's all right. Gator is good. Uh, tank on tank action sounds pretty good all right now. Where else are we going? Oh, baby. But, hmm. I do want to spread out through this way, though. Let's start here and just get planning. Let's get a lot of planning done. And get ready to honk our horns. Because we're going to go in. In fast and deep. Uh, actually, what is our supply for motorized? Motorized is looking extremely... 5,000! What? What? Here's our speed. Um, if that's the case... Screw it. The Rangers need to get bigger. Texas Rangers, you want, you, you're too small. You too small. We go big or go home. Everything is bigger in Texas, and that's why we're bringing Texas to the rest of the Union. Or what was the Union? Cool. And we're gonna also put on. How many light tanks do we have? We got enough, hopefully, right? Oh, we do. Um, this stuff is okay. Anti air is actually probably not too bad to throw on, so. Get them nice and thick. Do we have any extra spare planes, too? Because we got the fuel to last for years. Nah, not too much, not too much. We got some strategic bombers, that's kind of nice. Alright, Atlanta. I'm surprised they're not attacking over here. I'm just worried about Europe, man. I am... Oh, pressure's falling. Oh, I am worried about Europe. Oh my god. Stop wasting men! <laughs> you have to be careful about using your men. I mean, we're still mobilizing to that, and we're trying to, you know, research for more manpower, too. We lost 24,000 versus 106,000, you know, car soldiers. Like... 104,000, whatever. But, like, bro, men. Your men are valuable. Push in, too. Because I want to do a general attack, but it's just not feasible yet. Ah, good. Expand the colleges. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Encourage competition. That's a 133-day focus. Texaco is gone. Now competition in the oil industry can flourish. Standard oil, Chevron, Exxon, the canal, reap and grow. Because the other group is gone. And I've, I know I already read that, but I still wanted to read it again. Um, it's going to help out immediately in the field, so. Jim Taylor's a smoocher. All right. He smooches. How many people are here? Four? Oh, yeah. Make room for Jim. He smooches well. Nice. Okie dokie. Come on. Come on, baby. Why are you, why are you so violent towards us? Excavation is going to be nice. And let's go ahead and grab what else. Oh, did I even get... I did get better plans. That's good. That's smart. Somewhat smart. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go on. Hit them harder. Nothing like a one-two buckle my shoe. Nice. The Anton Reichs back to me. With both the Anton and the Reichs back now at war with the third national. The Kingdom of Canada's called for conference between their leaders and the Canadian seat of Halifax in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation. And the German Empire has agreed. While well, it's certainly unclear how far such cooperation will go, it seems like worth, it's worth the attempt. A representative from Texas has been asked to attend. We'll be there. Come on, please succeed. Please succeed, guys. Please, please, please succeed. Uh, do we need more resources? Ooh, baby boy, that ain't good. Brazil, please. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, look at that. The Argentina's showing up again. Look at that. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. We might be able to go. Let's try it. We're going in, boys. We'll see what we can do. It's not looking good. <laughs> oh, that's not fire. Uh, why? I mean, it's looking good. The most decorated soldier to heck and back. Audi Murphy comes. Oh, a general. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. When in doubt, the Argentina is going to come on out. And in major. Let's go. Help them out. Help them out. They need help. Walton Walker doing a okay right now. Do we have any other upgrades too? No. 
Oh, yes, we do. Halifax Conference. Leaders from the Entente on the Reichsbad gathered in Halifax today in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation in the war against the Third International. What this cooperation would consist of was not difficult to ascertain. Military and naval access between all members, but more importantly for the Entente, the willingness on the part of the Reichsbad to stay out of both France and Great Britain once the war is done. This will be allowed for a swift return to Europe for the French and British exile governments, the ultimate goal of both, but now a single question hangs over the conference. Would the German Empire even agree to such terms? And if so, what would they ask for in return? That's a very good question. I've, ooh, logistics. Should've got more attack, but whatever. Oh, that's good to get. Um, we have engineers already, so grab the engineers. Because after this war, we're going... We're probably going to have to go to war with the PSA. Come on, boys. Come on. We gotta get them more manpower. Oh my gosh, Argentinians. Okay, so the French Republic renounces Alsace-Lorraine. Shocking that the French delegates have agreed. After much discussion with the Germans, who publicly renounced their claim to Alsace-Lorraine, that the Germans agreed to the Halifax Conference Treaty of Cooperation. Concerning the humiliation involving for the French to do so, it speaks of how much they believe the treaty will help their return to the continent. How unexpected. That's actually really cool. I hope it succeeds. I don't think I've seen them succeed before on this channel, but I could be very wrong. Come on, boys, break them. They, I can't imagine these guys have that much more equipment. They just cannot, can they? No, they literally do not. <laughs> Oh, mm, why'd you fail? Son, why'd you fail? God, I hope... I hope we'll do okay. Boys, you ain't done yet. You see Atlanta? You take it. Please, cut them off or something here. Please, for the love of God, do something. Do something. Get your butts in there. Go, 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 go. Cut them off. How was the CSA not winning this war yet? I don't understand, man. Usually the CSA is super, super strong. And you give them enough time, like it's 42 already. Like, they should have won already by now. 68, don't, please don't be dropping. We need more air power here. Come on, Argentinians, keep going. We got another one. Unnamed, I like the unnamed. How many people can we throw in Georgia? Come on. Oh, we got that one, that's nice. That's good, that's good. We're propaganda. You know, do it just in case. You never know. Once the war ends, we might have not have enough propaganda cell. James Earl Rudder. Come on. Take it. They've got to be... They're already halfway. We've taken 60,000 casualties against these guys. But we can make up for it. I know we can. And we will. Yes. Hit them harder. Hit them harder. Get better anti-air. More casualties. More casualties. It's not so much as you win, you just gotta make sure you kill off all the enemies. Um, there's really nowhere else for us to attack using divisions. I mean, we just won there, which is great, but still. This guy's learned a lot. Oh, we took Atlanta! We took Atlanta! We got him! Come on! Oh, we gotta get Louisville! Why we gotta get Louisville? Reform the line. It's fine. Just reform it. Oh, wait, no, 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 I want all of you guys, come on. Why don't you guys have stopped, too? Alright, so you guys hold for now. You're gonna attack, uh, Carolinas might be really good to attack. Come on, baby, come on. That, getting Atlanta did nothing. It literally did nothing. I mean, it gave us some more territory, but still. That just means more stuff we had to garrison. Um, fighters, we need fighters. Fighters, 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 which makes sense. I'll do that too. We have plenty enough of that. There you go. We're gonna need some more rubber. Uh, we're building up some more civvies. Get us some more refineries. Just for the rubber. L literally just for the rubber. Ooh, radar might be helpful too. Maybe throw it right there as well. Some of you guys are still attacking. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't be attacking just yet. I mean, if you're attacking here, that's fine. Taking Memphis is fine. CSA, you gotta take Louisville. How have you not taken Louisville yet? I definitely want to attack you, though. There you go. Oh, they have some mechanized, but ain't going to stand up. Mechanized and militia don't mix. Go to Columbia next. Go in, go in. You guys go in here, too. Make sure they don't get reinforcements. Follow it up to there. There you go, son. Uh, you hold. And you do that. There you go. If you can, encircle them, do it. Oh, these heavy tanks are looking good. Wait, when do we get so much more heavy tanks? Do we just produce them? We almost do a day. Holy crap. That's kind of impressive. Greenville. I think I've been to Greenville before. Oh, come on. Come on, big boys. Oh, we left a hole in here, but that's not great, but whatever. 
The Marine's gonna die. Very, very good. All right, so we got all you guys. Uh, Louisville. Come on, I want to end this by capitulating these guys. Oh, do we have another one to grab? Oh, no, we're maxed out right now. Are we good to go? We flush with a lot of love. Attacking this way is going to be really crappy, but whatever. Um, all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, but that's not good. That's a big hole. And that's not a big hole that we like. Okay, three, two, one. We've got to go. Right? How's air superiority? It's okay over here. We definitely need more planes over here. Even though we're not sending planes in at all. Okay, then. Um, the CSA is, like, I don't know what they're up to, but they suck right now. Why do they suck? Did they go, like, mass assault, maybe? Like, we're fighting, bleeding, and dying over here. What are the cows she's like? Texan American War is a beautiful thing. Um, second sign of Japanese War. Uh,. Is that it? The Reich's Pact. Yeah, that's us. Second American Civil War. Uh, no, these guys haven't killed each other off. Texan American War. That's us. Second Veltkrieg. Pacific I don't see it. Maybe it's right in front of me, but I don't see it. Huh. Can we at least... Uh, I don't know if we'll be actually be able to win this episode before uh, we do it. Why? Why did they suck so much? What is wrong with you? You're running out of manpower. William Haywood, why are you so bad? I mean, it's not like they get a bonus against us, do they? No, they don't. And, uh, well, it's part of this, these guys are doing nothing over here. They're, they're completely out of equipment, too, so... Uh, well, unfortunately, I guess I gotta finish one this one like off screen, just like what I did in the last in the last episode. So, I'll see you tomorrow when we have already basically formed the CSA and make sure that uh, we get enough manpower to make up for the losses that we've already incurred. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will take out hopefully the PSA as well as the CSA and make America Texas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.